We're in the Sin City for the Las Vegas E3. Akari on pole starting on the hard tires from Ryan Fabnis and his teammate Raybo. And it's Yuki Tuo, Sebastian Ocampo, UK Ball, Marcus Nelson, and Shaco Tiguanes. And it's the two Nissans of T. Gabo, Bajit Chantan, Pastor Malinado, and Daniel Baltasarov. Well, it's Leclerc is 13th with the last time out race when it's Adol Schumacher alongside. Then it's Salas Khan, Leo, and F1. Dan Sanchez currently third in the World Drivers' Championship. iWorld, Camino, Bob, and his teammate, Mil Rez. So it's a carry on pole for the third race in a row. Except this time he's on the hard tires. He's not expecting much. Oh, five lights gone. And the Las Vegas E3 is green. And that was an unexpectedly good start from Akari. Badness with the outside line coming through turn one with the sharper turns on the calendar. Akari holding on to the race lead. But Badness right behind him. Oh, Carpo currently P3. And with Raybo right behind Suo getting past the Italian driver. Badness now side by side with Akari. They go down into turn five. And Badness takes the lead of the E3 from Akari. And now Ocampo still in third, the championship leader, needing to take as many points as possible. Yellow flag down and in the first sector. The track's been cleared and that's for a missing front wing, we believe. It's, there must have been a collision between the clerk and Kynes. And, and that was down in a very low position. And yeah, the clerk with a ton of damage there. And no, Pastor Malinado seems to be involved with that one as well. As Seguan is now trying to get past Sanchez. Akari has dropped to P3. This is, however, expected. Saying, says Pinnacle Formula 18. They were not expecting to stay out in front after that one. I'm not too sure if they wanted to drop to P4. But that's likely what's about to happen with Marcus Nelson with the outside. It's almost three wide going through the last turn, but it is Babness from Ocampo from Nelson from Akari. As most of the cars coming through the final turn, single file almost, due to the earlier yellow flag, but it wasn't that. It'd be much closer. Mule Rez with the time penalty now. That's the colliding with Castro Malnado. He's been in the thick of it today, but he hasn't really had too much awful things going on with him. Gabo, Threatening uh, Yuki Suo and Akari. That's the fourth position. Akari trying to defend as much as he can. Attack mode is online. And the two Nissans. It's currently sixth and ninth. It is a Japanese driver and a Japanese manufacturer. So red in the number 10. Weird how Nissan didn't uh, force Gabo to use the number 23. Because that is. That would be. If you can say the numbers individually, me, Sam, I have knowledge. Instead, they have me, me, and me, who. As here comes Akari up into third position, getting ahead of Marcus Nelson. Using the attack uh, mode as much as he possibly can. Tuo doing his best to try and stay ahead of Gabo. Gabo right on the outside, and he can break that. Coming through the W section. And so he's gonna have to remain in set with Raybo. He started in third, dropping right back down the order, and it's into the pit for Dabo. Bob Dissolve with the fast slap of the E3. It's a three way fight, and out of the race has gone David Camino. Out of this E3 for, for him, and that's gonna help Dabo quite a bit. He's coming out of the pit right now. He's gonna lose. A lot less time than many would have thought, but that's the first retirement in the C3. And it's the number 88 car. Wouldn't have expected that one. Virtual safety car ending then. Attack mode was online, was offline for a bit there. If, you're, if you have already been through a D, uh, an attack mode activation, uh, not activation, a detection point, then you will not be able to use your Atari, however. But a lot of pace underneath. And he throws in on his championship rival. I don't think he can because of how the hard tires are just not really there for him. 
We're looking through the order then. We have Bob currently in 18th position. And sandwiched by the two Mercedes. One in front, one behind with a time penalty. The clerk should have attack mode, but so should Bob. Coming down the straight, yes, they do both have attack mode. Here goes to Clark to 17th position. Pastor Maldonado ahead, takes 15 away from MF1 World. Bob trying to re overtake a Mercedes, but on this occasion it's I World. So the order has been flipped. Akari now into the lead as all the drivers ahead of him simultaneously pull into pit lane. For Akari, the thing with the hard tires is. He is trying to circumvent this first round of pit stop. He is trying to make sure that he doesn't need to do it by going on to the hard tyres. The question is, will it work? I mean, Bogdasaros' softs have gone off the cliff. 20% for both Raybo and Bogdasarov, who are currently fighting over P3 and trying to close in on new cable. Sanchez on the hard tyres. This is the crossover point. And once you're at the crossover point, you really need to pit. Sanchez up into four. And Mueller's... Oh, out of the race! I will! I will now! Spinner for I will. And Nelson also hitting the back of that Mercedes car. That's a really unusual accident at a really unusual place. I don't... I don't know how that one happened. Likely a puncture. But we're not really getting anything out of Mercedes. Virtual safety car ending and we go back racing. 7% for the number 7 car. He will make it into the pit but it's going to be very close. Especially coming from here. It's going to be very tentative with how he turns the wheel. Because if he overheats it. At any point, as Sanchez with attack charge gets himself up into third, you cable pit. So, same as Sanchez. Sanchez is in, and Akari is also into the pit. On lap four of twelve, he did not. He did not feel like he had too much to give in those hard tires. And Akari, he's gonna drop down the order here, and he's nowhere near. MF1 World has hit the wall, and MF1 World is out of the E3 as well. Piguana's leading the way from Gabo and Ocampo then. And Akari currently only E9. But he's got much, much fresher tyres. Virtual safety car is ending then. And for Akari, he might as well have just started on the mediums. It would have given him a better start because he did not circumvent that first round of pit stops. He just came in on the following lap. We've got seven laps to go here in Las Vegas. It's Sigranus from Gabo from it. Ocampo with Suo and Kynes running over P4. And that Toyota Gazoo car, no matter what driver has been in that seat, has looked electric. Gabo trying to take the lead. Could a Nissan lead the E3 for the first time since season 10? Yes, it will. The Italian 29 car leads in Las Vegas. He's won big so far. But he's got Ocampo to worry about now because he's using attack mode as they come through the W section. And he's not even able to clear Tiguana, so I'm not sure why I even mentioned him. As, yeah, the guys ahead of him struggling for tire work, Gabo and Tiguana, as there goes Ocampo to second place. As, ooh, Tiguana deciding to stay out for another lap. This could have been Akari. Akari could have been leading this race. As there goes Kynes on Schumacher. Fabian is currently 7th. Closing in on Solos Kynes. He's going to have the inside line. And he's going to use the most of his attack line. To try and take 6th away from the Spaniard in the 55. Can he do it? Going down the breaking point. Yes he can. Oh, it's a late break for him. As Gabo currently leading the way. And he's forced to take a very unorthodox line. By Ocampo, and that has given the number one car the lead of the E3. So it's Ocampo from Gabo from Suo. And Tiguanas and Schumacher fighting over fourth position as well. Well, that, that earlier chicane is where um, Nelson had his moment. As Atari now fighting with Vashi Chan 
over eighth position. He's coming ahead. He's trying to close in on the two cars ahead of him. He's got the slipstream off to Guanas. But if he was to move over, he would have been able to get the slipstream of the hyperdrive car. But he's using attack mode as much as he can. He can't really thread the needle on the inside. Gabo retakes the lead in that Nissan from Ocampo. A car reads a P6. And he's now going to have to try and chase down Badness. All of these guys seemingly trying to find a way to come in. They don't come in. Ocampo leads. Suo second. Suo is currently second. And he leads, in fact. Suo was leading for a little put there. And Akari currently P3. He's clawed his way back, back to where the race leaders are. This is a real fight for the lead. These guys will probably pit on the next lap. Suo takes back the race lead from Sebastiano Campo. That red, white, and black Jack, uh, not even Jack, but Toyota machine currently leading the way. And Ocampo coming under threat from his championship rival in Akari. That's your Chan Tan, by the way. Currently in fifth place, fighting with you, Cable. Very good weekend this is for Nissan. And as I say that, that's your Chan Tan goes out of this race. Commentates his curse is real. I said it was a great weekend for Nissan and well one of their drivers just has is a moment there and it's really unfortunate for them to have the driver retire from the E3. Duo definitely benefiting from this because if he was trying to fight against their car and likely even a car that would have been that would have been insane. We go back racing then. No attack mode for any of these guys. Is anyone using attack mode? I don't think anyone is. Or at least should be. Yeah, I don't think anyone is using the attack mode. But Akari takes the lead! Into the lead! Goes, a, goes Akari! Akari has backed off quite a lot going through the W. And the top three do decide. They've taken the pit stop line. Into the pit come the top three. Akari has reclaimed the lead of the E3. And as he does so, he comes into the pit. And this is incredible for Akari. This is amazing. Because he's going to come out. And he's going to have a very good chance. Of actually keeping himself ahead of his two rivals. Akari ahead of Ocampo. Ahead of Suo in ninth place. With his medium tires, he should be able to get himself to the end of the E3. The hard tire gamble seems to have worked for him as Bonkasov takes the lead of the E3. But look at the state of that Santos' tires. 20% on the Toyota Dazu steering wheel. And my oh my, the strategy is really coming to play here. Neil Rice falls very deep there. It's got a five second time bonus, you remember. And Tiguanas trying to thread the needle back on the Swedish driver. Uh, Bob really far off the back, he came in. <coughs> Dabo, now the sole Nissan Nismo in the C3. Trying to get past the Granas, closing in on the Lamborghini Mako car. He's going to get attack mode, but likely so will the Granas because Neil Rice is not too far out of sight. So Neil Rice now, he's going to get past Tato Schumacher. Seems to be a pretty orthodox move up into fourth to him as Dabo now trying to close in on the Granas. He's closing in on Schumacher as Dabo is not close enough to try, and try anything really. As Bob Desarve received the other Fiat Sun Freddy car, he comes into the pits as well. And we're going to run on board with him for a stop. As Bob, as Anna Banner takes the lead. Neil Rice, fastest lap, currently is second. And soft tires going on to the Andretti car. And that was a pretty quick pit stop down at Andretti. And now Sebastiano Campo. He's got, he's got soft tires compared to Akari's mediums. But those mediums are less worn than Ocampo's soft. Soft tires that would reach 20% by the race's end quite easily. And oh, there he goes! He's trying to send around the outside of Akari. They stay side by side. Can Ocampo, the less experienced of the two cars, let's try and take the, the uh, provisional race lead because the two cars ahead of him, the five cars ahead of him still need to pit. Akari will take attack charge, but they go side by side, going on to the Las Vegas strip. We 
We thought we would never see the day this would happen again, but we're gonna see it happen again. It's attack mode for Akari. It's he's using attack shards. No, he isn't. And Campo using nothing to try and fight against them. And that is sixth position and the net race lead for Akari. As Sarah's currently here, struggling out there. The same with Dash Sanchez, in fact. I was gonna say he had a puncture because he seemed to be dropping off quite a bit, but nothing happening out there. So on to lap 10 of 12. Two laps to go. It is Akari from Ocampo. This would be a this would be quote he got below to Ocampo's championship hopes. Yuki Suo actually trying to close in on the Andretti to make his day even worse. And he's got uh, who else but you cable for company. Ocampo, he's really dropped off the back of Atari, he is not even in attack mode range. 1.4, 2.4 seconds the gap between the race leaders. So Yuki Suo can really try and hammer on a shard to try and close in on Ocampo, but he's preoccupied with fighting a Brit in the number 89 car. And we look further back with Bob now, currently trying to get himself up into seven ahead of Daniel Boxer but he can't really do it yet because he's under threat from Daph Sanchez and his own teammate. Three-way fight for eighth position here. And it's Bob who's currently holding up. He's currently holding on to that position. Luckily, they didn't go three wide through there else. That would have been a hundred percent chance of them colliding. And luckily for them, they just didn't. And Bob then currently holding on to eighth, but he's got his teammate and Sanchez both fighting hard to try and take the position ahead of him. Up ahead, Hugh Cable up into third, but Neil right now up into eight from Sanchez from Bob for eight down through ten. And it's two seconds ahead. And into the pits comes Ocampo. Ocampo and Hugh Cable and Hugh Suo on the penultimate lap of the E3. All of these guys gambling on a different strategy. Yeah, and Bob Desar currently under threat from Neil Rice, who does come home and, and take second away from Bob Desar on this penultimate lap of the E3. Yeah, and, oh, and now Akari, he has to manage his tyres. That's all he needs to do. Manage his tyres. Eight seconds. It's a comfortable buffer to Neil Rice. Because he's really trying to stay ahead of Bob Desar because of Neil Rice having a massive time penalty. Babness currently holding on to fourth position. And we could see some light race punches, especially from the soft tire runners, considering how poorly they seem to hold up. But as far as we can tell, this is going to be a fight down to the wire. Ocampo has sacrificed a certain second place for a chance to try and claw his way up the order. Probably the reason he came into the pit was, from also, was to make sure that he even kept his kept his car in the running because apparently there were uh, vibrations on that CS Amlin Andretti car. But what this now means is currently Akari is a single point back on Ocampo. He's closing in on Salah's time. I doubt he'll be able to close in on Gabo. As Shaka Sigranis gets past Theodore Schumacher, Ocampo gets past Carlos Kimes. As on to the final lap, in Las Vegas we go. It's Akari from Mioraz who resets the fastest lap. Her 126 dead. Jacko Tiguanas resetting now. 125.9. Ocampo needs every point he can get. He is less than a second away from Gallo and Akari dropping off massively. He's, he's just used his last bit of attack shards for this race. Unless he can regen some. Fabinus now trying to get past, and he does get past our box off. Neil West closing in on Akari. It won't matter too much come races end, seeing as Neil Rice has a 5 second time penalty. So it's more about Neil Rice if he can get past the car, how much of a gap can he make to stay on to the podium. And on to the last Vegas trip we go. Ocampo then, he's going to try and get himself up into 8th position. He does get himself up into 8th down the inside. And can he take Sanchez as well? He does take Sanchez as well. But Neil Rice then, they go side by side down the Las Vegas trip. And Neil Rice takes the lead of the Las Vegas E3. But he's got a 5 second time penalty. 20% on Akari's dashboard. But it will be enough to see himself to the end of this race. Neil Rice then coming down the back straight. With one more turn to go. There's only so much of a gap he can open up. He comes through the final turn. It will be the race win 
on track but Akari wins the Las Vegas E3 a 123 dead from Neil Rez is the fastest lap of the E3 and Neil Rez will come home with a solid second place Ocampo comes home with a P6 Yuki Suo steals the champ steals not even the championship and Pastor Maldonado steals the fastest lap from Yuki Suo there This is the podium man, Akari. He needed this win to keep his championship aspirations alive. Yes, it was 25 points before, but now it's a lot less. Mirez is second with Iron Batmus for the third race in a row on the podium. Then it's Jaco Tigranes, Teodor Schumacher, Sebastian Ocampo, Daniel Baltasaro, and T Gabo. With Daf Sanchez, ninth, and Yuki. And UK Ball in 10th. Yuki Suo is 11th with Ravo 12th. Then it's Carlos Carnes, Pascal Maldonado, Leo, and Lana Chiclerk, and Bob. Your non finishes were Vasi Chan Tan, MF1 World, Marcus Nelson, High World, and David Camino. In the Drivers' Championship, well, the gap's gone a lot smaller now. Really has. The gap between Ocampo and Akari, if my math is correct, is 8 points. If Akari wins the next round, the next race with the fastest lap, and Ocampo is second, they will be tied on points. Daf Sanchez is third, and Ravo fourth, then it's UK Ball. Fabness is tied with the Brit, then it's Tedor Schumacher, tied with Leo, Yuki Suo, and David Kamino one point back. That is currently all the drivers who would make it into the playoffs. Then it is Jacko Tiguanas, Neil Rez, Daniel Box, Sarov, Pastor Malnado, Vashi Chantan, I Will, or T Gabo, Marcus Nelson, Bob, one point ahead of Salos Kimes, MF1 World, and then, say it with me now, Lola's to Club, who is still yet to score. Going into the next round of this championship, we'll be going to Texas. Pinnacle Formula E team lead the World Constructors Championship for the first time in a long while from DS Andretti. Hyperdrive Racing now one point ahead of Toyota Gazoo Racing. Then it is Ron Honda Grand Prix. And then half of those points it's can make up Skoda Volkswagen Sally. One point back is Lamborghini Mako. Then it's Renault Edams. Then tied for points is Nissan Nismo and Jaguar. And then Mercedes Formula E team on 17 points. We'll see you guys next time for the Texas E-Prix.